All right, we're back here, and we're going to be doing the one more of the show, starting right now. We are back with Kate Beckinsale and Dave Grohl. Now, Dave, congratulations on your brilliant book, The Storyteller. Yeah. Uh, really loving this. Whole, there are so many brilliant stories, incredible stories that I think any music fan wants to know. It's now the number one book on the New York Times bestseller list. It's an incredible achievement. Where, where, uh, where are you when you find out that news? And who's the first person that you call when you're number one? Uh, well, both of my parents were writers. My mother was a creative writing teacher. And my father was a speechwriter and journalist in Washington, D.C. So, like, the written and spoken word was kind of appreciated it in our family. So when I actually, when I got my first copy of the book, I just kind of went to my mom's house and dropped it in her lap. It was just like, bam, like <laughs> book drop. Because I'm not, I mean, I dropped out of the high school she was a teacher at. Oh, wow. So wow. for me to be like, what's up, mom? I got a book right now, you know, <laughs> it felt pretty good. I mean, the, the, every, the, your, the detail in the book is amazing. I feel, like you, I feel like your memory of particular events is incredible. Like you even remember the colour of the... like, the colour of the carpet in the hotel that you were staying in when yeah. Smells Like Teen Spirit with the video was on MTV. Yeah, I like, mean, I remember that day in particular, like, you know, you grow up watching MTV. Back then, it was always on, and, and it was just... it was just in your living room. We never turned it off, and, uh... When we found out that MTV was gonna play our video, the Smells Like Teen Spirit video, we were like at a Best Western hotel in like Schenectady or something like that. And we all like huddled around the TV and then when it came on, it's like, it, was, it was like, up oh, next, new video from Nirvana. We're like calling each other on the hotel phones and we were kids, we were like 22 or 23 years old. But the thing that triggers my memory is music. So whenever I hear a song, whether it's from the 70s or 80s, um, if I hear a Nirvana song on the radio, I remember, like, what I was wearing when we recorded it and where we were at the time. So I, it's all triggered by music, all of these memories. If you were going to write a memoir, Kate, do you have a good memory for detail? Could you remember everything? Pretty your... much, yeah. Because yeah? I haven't been drunk at all, so I've, right. I've always been very present. That is yeah. a blessing so a, for you. It'd be a searing memoir, because I remember yeah. what everyone did. Yeah. Oh, you're that person. Very so. <laughs> so annoying the next day. Sorry. It's all, now I'm getting to an age now. I don't know if I don't know if you are a drinker, Dave, anymore or whatever. But I'm getting to an age now where I get sort of anxiety. <laughs> In sort advance? Of, no, post. Uh, like a like a the, the the hangover mixed with anxiety. I'm like right. Don't, I don't want to know. It's like putting together a huge puzzle that just spells shame. Yeah, like, it is true. Oh, this, oh, oh God. that goes there. Like, yeah. Oh, and you find the court. Yeah. And the worst person is the one like, oh, no, no, it was way worse than that. Yeah. And you go, oh, no, tell me that. <laughs> yeah, that's me. OK, you've got a tradition, uh, which is on our show, really, of uh, your obsession with medical practitioners yes. and finding... Well, you have a text game with a doctor friend of yours. Share with us what it's this not text a game. came from. Well, no. it came out of the fact that I found that if you ever go to ER or for yourself or anyone else, the best question to ask is, like, what's the weirdest thing someone's come in with up their bottom? <laughs> and you get the most incredible answers, honestly, from people. Like, all ERs, they go, oh, yes, and they reel off, you know, so many things. Like and anyway, what? Like a Hot Wheels car or, like... Uh, in my defence, me and my son were really trying <laughs> to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so I, t I mentioned this to a doctor who's a friend of mine, and he said, OK, well, <laughs> don't tell anyone. Uh, but um, I've got quite a few slides from when I was at medical school of things, and when you're having a low moment, I'll send you one, and you have to guess what's up the bottom. Right. Um, and some of them are really easy, like a Rubik's Cube, and you can see immediately, oh, that's a Rubik's Cube, and also why and how. Um, but then some are really hard. Like, the worst one was a... Um, was a bust of Mozart with sh with shoulders. A bust of Mozart, <laughs> as in a, a yes, Mozart's head and shoulders. Not to the shoulders. Yes, Stop. almost almost to the nipple. Stop. Yeah, yeah. I mean, where there's a will, there's a way. Apparently, <laughs> in the putting things up your bum department. Anyway, we'll be right back, everybody. <laughs>